but it's equally clear that we, all humanity, are better off if the Internet remains as it is, free of intergovernmental controls. Uh, in the view of the United States, this is critically important if the Internet is to remain free and open. That is, open to new ideas and uses and to the kinds of organic change that it has served so well, um, and also free of censorship and other tools of political repression. Um, the, um, the principal complexities that uh, we all recognize in terms of intergovernmental um, uh, controls uh, involve tremendous lag times, uh, great difficulties in terms of coming to a consensus about important issues, um, the, the inevitable reality that uh, coming to a consensus often involves uh, finding the lowest common denominator. And this is something that is utterly inconsistent with the Internet as we have come to know it. It's utterly inconsistent with its uh, continued progressiveness. Uh, moreover, if we end up with too many rules and regulations that are subject to intergovernmental uh, examination and agreement, there's a great danger that we're going to end up in a situation where some administrations can claim the assistance of all other administrations with respect to things like censorship and uh, various political controls, uh, something that we in the United States um, uh, feel very, very strongly uh, should be avoided.